back on the WR4 Sexy, man. I feel like it's been forever. Can we can we pull off a little one-hander? Uh, kind of, a little bit. I don't know, that was a little sketchy, but I'm a little nervous. <laughs> what is going on, you guys? And welcome back to Vroom Vroom Dana. Like I said, man, it has been, at least I feel like it's been a while since we've saddled up on the WR4 Sexy. I don't know, man, we've been doing a lot of riding on the YZ250 recently. I mean, we just came off doing a desert race not too long ago. We did a Grand Prix not too long ago. And we also just finished up with Enduro Cross, which was absolutely out of this world. I mean, it was so wild. We got a video coming out, like a full day event, full recap of that uh, coming pretty dang soon. That'll probably be a Friday for you guys to check out. If you do want to check out just the race footy, I did throw that up on VVD Racing if you wanted to check that out. But if you wanted to wait till Friday, man, I got a full little recap of what went down that weekend. All I can say, man, it was a ton of fun. The Pussy Squad was showing the support out at Enduro Cross. It was absolutely unreal and an experience to like be remembered forever. I'm excited though because that was like the last race of the season for me. And I got nothing until about mid-January, which I think is the Atalanto Grand Prix, which if you guys are planning to go to that, man, I'll probably see you out there. It's the first race back of the season. But now I got a month and a half to kind of just like rest, fix the bike, fix everything that's broken on her that I've broken over the season. Because like I was saying, man, it's been a busy, like crazy, crazy two months of like racing every weekend. So now that there's some time off, it's like, it's kind of relief. Alrighty guys, before we venture out, farther into the hills before we pick up road sooner or later i just wanted to give you guys a quick update you guys probably all know i don't know if they have it outside of the states if you're from like germany or australia or i know i got a lot of fans from great britain all those great places but down here in the states uh, we have something called black friday which is like the day after thanksgiving or a few days before thanksgiving because it used to only be on friday but now it's like a few days before but anyways uh there's like a ton of that was disgusting <laughs> There's like a ton of sales and everything going on. People have like these mad discounts. Uh, people, suppliers have, you get free stuff, whatever. That's what Black Friday is. Basically, it's a time of the year where if you've been wanting to get something or even waiting to buy a certain thing, it's pretty much the time to do it. With that being said, you guys know that we are, the Pussy Squad is partnered with Voss Helmets. And uh, for Black Friday, they got some pretty freaking sweet deals I want to let you guys know about. I don't know if you're looking to get a dual sport helmet. Uh, maybe you're a full off-road guy and you're looking to get a new MX helmet. Uh, maybe you're a street guy and you're looking to get a, just like a full face helmet. A uh, Harley guy looking to get a half helmet. Whatever the occasion may be, I'm going to throw a link in the top of the bio. It's going to say like helmets here. Uh, click there. Voss Helmets is having some absolutely insane deals right now on helmets, man. You guys could get any of their helmets. They got mad discounts. They're throwing in like shields with stuff. They're throwing in like lock. I don't know, man. You got to go over there and check it out for yourself. I'll throw some more info down in the uh, uh, down in the description. That way, I feel like I'm not reading off of like a piece of paper. It's like, oh, this and this and this. So I'll let you guys check it out for yourself. Uh, but there's some great deals over there. Uh, they also have stuff where if you spend like, I, don't, I think if you buy a helmet or you spend a hundred dollars on a helmet you get free uh twenty dollars merch from jaboy so if you're looking to get merch and a helmet this is kind of a good time to do it also because you could kind of get both for the price of one so there's some pretty gnarly deals going over there right now and i just want to let you guys know especially if you're interested in getting a new helmet and uh, maybe you want to get one of your buddies or maybe if you're a parent watching this video and you wanted to get your kid a helmet for christmas uh this would be an awesome time to do it because like i said insane deal there's a bunch of add-ons and honestly like I said if you're looking for a helmet this would probably be a good time to do it because you're not gonna get it this cheap and you're not gonna get these kind of deals uh, throughout the rest of the year so check it out and uh, you could be matching your boy we could both be wearing the dual sport helmets we could both be wearing the MX helmets whatever the occasion may be I just want to let you guys know because yes I get messages of people who are like hey man any deals on the helmets recently BAM here's your deal all right all right all right enough jibber jabber let's uh get back on the WR for sexy and do some riding say though tires are in my future i need a tire supplier to throw up some black friday deals so i could get some new tires for this bad girl because uh they're looking a little low and especially when i'm going down some pretty gnarly hills which there's a ton of up here or even going down some gnarly hills up gnarly hills it gets a little sketchy hey, you guys want to hear uh, something else that's absolutely insane that we accomplished at 
we didn't think was even possible by the end of the year and it's only november it's not even the end of the year yet and we've already accomplished it we hit 600,000 subscribers on the channel you guys the pussy squad is now 600,000 subscribers deep that is absolutely unreal man unbelievable thank you so much for all the support i'm a little lost i'm trying to find my right trail here it is but thank you guys so much man for all the support everything you guys have shown throughout the year it's just it's it's absolutely unreal i'm gonna say at the beginning of the year we were at i would say roughly a hundred thousand maybe and that, that happened pretty quick i think we were roughly around a hundred thousand at the start of the year and it took us like i don't remember maybe seven months to get to a hundred thousand or something like that and I remember we made like kind of an unrealistic goal or obviously it's not unrealistic but we made a goal for ourselves that we really wanted to achieve in the year 2017 and we set a goal for 500,000 subscribers and when we set that goal it was like dude that would be absolutely insane if we actually did that there's no way we're actually going to get 500,000 but we're going to set high goals for ourselves and like I said man it's still November and uh, we hit 600,000 so it's just it's absolutely unreal, man. Anybody who wanting to start a YouTube or anybody who wants to set a goal outside of YouTube, man, set your bar high because you just never know. Especially if you grind on that thing that you love, man, just give it 100%. And if you're dedicated enough, I mean, I put my soul into this YouTube channel, man. I wanted this to be something. I wanted us to grow. I wanted the Pussy Squad to be something. And we fought hard enough we gave it our all and we made it something and it's just it's so awesome to see that there's now so many of us that made such an awesome thing hey anybody who gets a new helmet anybody want a uh, a sweet chopper anybody want a sweet little trike little harley davidson trike this thing has actually been here for a while i remember we went here like five months ago and, i mean there used to be a bunch more junk over here looks like they kind of cleaned it up but I don't know why somebody left this $50,000 Harley Davidson trike behind. <laughs> That's a deal if I've ever seen one. You get a trike and an old magazine. You could get some cutlery over here. Look, man, maybe you're a little low. You don't, you don't like doing dishes at home. You're running out of silverware. I'll hook you up with a little knife and a fork if maybe you're looking to get food later. A little thing of uh, old socks and pink socks. Christmas is coming up, man. If you guys want to get your girlfriend a pair of nice fluffy socks, I got you covered. No cigs for everybody out there with a terrible habit. Oh, check this out, dude. We got an old Verizon 4G, actually not even too bad of condition. <laughs> oh, one of those old, what is this? Oh, Galaxy SFS. I can't even speak right now. <laughs> this is pretty sweet though. A Galaxy S4 phone, which let's see if it, let's see if it turned, no. I think the battery is definitely dead, but S4, that's pretty old, but I don't know why Sony dumps their old cell phone. That's kind of cool. I think I got like the S7 Edge now. Little three-year-old phone, which is, oh, look, what? Another one, a Verizon Galaxy Note 3 phone, which has seen better days in her past. I mean, see if this one, nope, that one's not turning on either. All these are dead, but two Samsung phones, which is actually pretty sweet. <laughs> Oh my gosh and a freaking what is this i don't even know what this is i thought it was an ipad and a, a, a zeus nexus tablet who dumps all of their good belongings out here in the hills let's see if this one turns on also okay none of these are turning on so i don't know if that leads me to believe that they're broken or if we just need to go home and charge these things but what else is out here <laughs> two phones and a tablet that I don't know if they work, but still kind of a come up. I don't know why somebody would dump their old electronics out here. This seems like, oh shit. This seems like something you would want to keep, but I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong and maybe I'm tripping. Maybe that's not something you want to keep. I've always kept my old phones. I'm pretty sure I still have my old Virgin Mobile prepaid phone, which was my first phone ever uh, somewhere at the house. But now I'm like kind of wondering, I'm <laughs> probably a rattlesnake or freaking Black Widow or a tarantula under here, but... I don't see anything else that looks pretty cool. I don't know, man. That's pretty actually... I'm pretty stoked about this. I don't know. Maybe one person's trash is another man's come up, but 
I mean, maybe they didn't want these electronics, but this excites me. And especially if I go home and I charge these things and they actually work, maybe there's like old nudie photos of this person like they took on their phone or something. I don't know. You got you to gotta be optimistic for stuff like this. But I'm going to put those in the backpack. I'm going to take those home later and I'm going to see if they work. Let's get out of here. Let's continue our journey for the day. That was an absolute come up. I am not disappointed about that find at all. <laughs> That's why I always love getting on the dual sport because uh, we always seem to come across something cool out in the world. I mean, that wasn't the coolest thing, but definitely uh, not the worst possible thing that could have happened to us. This is actually where the uh, Lake Elsinore Grand Prix was. I wanted to see if they had any of the... Uh, jump set up back here still but it looks like they definitely uh definitely demoed everything out i remember during the grand prix somewhere over here i remember we went over here and the water hole was i believe right here but i mean they still got some of the course here but they took all the cool jumps out for this was a little kind of step up at the grand prix kind of still is then you came around here and went up the hill if you guys are uh, watching this video compete in the grand prix you actually see where these hay bales are which they never took down which maybe it's a good thing for a truck doesn't go down there some dude in the grand prix actually fell down in that hole because those hay bales weren't even there so this dude because we came along this ridge we were down there uh for anybody that didn't do it at least we were down there we came up on the ridge we came around this corner some dude fell in that freaking hole and it delayed everything for like an hour because there was like just some random people up here who didn't want to touch the guy because they didn't know if like his neck was broken or anything i think he ended up being all right but it was like this huge hour delay i was like oh my god look how hammered this trail is man this is how it was during the grand prix it's just it's so beat up here and there's like nothing you can do because oh gosh that is very soft sand because it's so like it's been graded so many times and so many people have been over it it's just down to like the bedrock and it's just a nasty looking trail man whoever was in charge of uh tearing this course down you guys did not do a very good job because the entire course is actually still here <laughs> there's like some spots that's graded out but you obviously could tell where the course used to be especially with all these hay bales you come along here the berm's still here you got more hay bales over here which is the other berm coming out you can see all the motorcycle tracks in the sand you come along here you go straight this is literally the entire track and it's still set up they would have graded out all the berms and everything you know to kind of make it not noticeable but they definitely didn't do that because everything about the track even on the ridges so far i mean they took out the jumps back there but all this stuff is still out here there was a fat tabletop right here you can tell they graded out like i was saying earlier man every jump they took out but all the turns and everything else is still there but there was a huge tabletop right there that booted you way up but look at man you still got the berms out here you still got everything else just not the jumps so you got a little uh little one right here a little uh little rolling jump that was still there from the race and you still got some fat berms graved out in here so this is sick pretty awesome i need to get like we need to get some dual sport guys out here because actually you can bring a dirt bike too it's just a little sketchy but you might have some cop running to do but everybody with a dual sport you know we're a lot on the streets and all that good stuff we need to set up this race like during the actual day it's gonna be a little sketchy but it shall be fun because like i was saying dude everything's set up we'll kind of like map it out together and then we'll line up somewhere and then we all just take off you guys that is absolutely crazy man the whole track set up out there started the ride off doing some wheelies having a jolly old time ended up finding uh some old cell phones found this old tablet ah this is a great day man that's why i love the dual sport you can go investigate things without having to truck a bike somewhere and with a dual sport you could hop street to dirt street to dirt you kind of go all over like earlier in the video we were on those peaks of those hills and then next thing you know it we're behind the peak of that hill all the way down by a lake so what an adventurous day man i think i'm gonna wrap it up right there though and we're gonna call that a video if you guys enjoyed today's video man please be sure to subscribe if you're new drop a like on the video man absolute ton of fun man i love riding this girl i gotta start riding her more because uh she definitely gets a little angry at me when i don't ride her i gotta charge the battery it's not even working so I got to manually kickstart it. She's definitely pissed at me. But thank you guys so much. You guys are amazing. And I'll talk to you in the next video. Deuces, my friends. This is the anthem. Told the world I need everything and some. Yeah. Two girls, that's a tandem. She gonna do it all for me when them bands come. 
Got it all, yeah, I'm young, rich, and handsome.